Welcome to another edition of Poker Buzz on Card Player TV. So far, 2011 has seemed to be the year of the Super High Roller event, with big names putting up six-figure buy-ins and winning seven-figure paydays. We asked Bellagio Tournament Director Jack McClellan if he ever thought tournaments would get this big. Uh, for years, we had a dream of you know, making the World Series bigger. And in fact, uh, if in 98, Jim Albrecht and I hadn't left the uh, horseshoe, we were going to make the championship event 20000 the next year. And the reason for that was because some of the high limit players like Doyle and Chip come up and said, oh, these fields are three and 400 people. They're just too big anymore for the good players to get through. We need bigger buy-ins. <laughs> so guess what? Here they are. Bellagio will play host to its own $100,000 event at the World Poker Tour Championships. Well, what seems to be happening is a lot of the players, uh, uh, they want like a second chance and they want to get a little TV time and they don't care about spending a lot of money. So we're going to have a $100,000 buy-in on May the 18th and 19th. Uh, we're looking to get somewhere, who knows, 30 to 60 players maybe. And uh, we'll have a 60-minute rounds. They get 400,000 chips. There'll be plenty of play. Also, on May the 17th, the night before the high roller, I'm going to have a super satellite for a $1,000 buy-in with three buys. So the, you know, the, the little guy's got a shot to get in. With Full Tilt's recent announcement of its own super high roller tournament series, it seems that six-figure buy-ins are a trend that's picking up steam. The new um, Onyx set of tournaments that Full Tilt's going to promote uh, it's, it looks like a, along the same type thing, you know, it's going to be big buy-ins, you know, mostly named players or uh, amateurs uh, that can afford it that, you know, they'll, they'll want to get a little uh, TV time and maybe get lucky. 